What's good guys? Welcome to this stretching routine. This routine is hopefully going to take us about 15 minutes. I've got my timer on this time to keep me, keep me timely. Um, the only thing you'll need is a mat. You could do this without a mat. You might just want to prop your, uh, your knees up on some cushions for some of the exercises. So let's get started. Starting on your knees, you're going to take your left hand and reach it down to the floor. Right hand comes up, I'm going to catch just on the other side of the head and I'm going to just pivot across, re reaching down with my left until we get a stretch in the trap there. Big deep breath in. And then just ease it off. Just going to swap over. Right hand down, left hand up, breathe in. And breathe out. Ease it off. Switch it across. Try to do three of these. Move in. Move out. And reset. Across. Move in. And move out. I can't remember already if that's two or three. I'm going to do an extra one though. So hold a little bit longer in this one. Left hand down, right hand up, take a breath in. And breathe out. Just hold that there. Now I'm also, I'm trying to think about my shoulder going down. And we're not turning the head, you know, side to side. We're just keeping that there. You should be feeling that down. Side your neck into your upper trap. All right, let's try that on the other side. Switch off the right. Comes up, breathe, breathe in, and breathe out, just gently go. Breathing is really important in your stretching. Um, one of the reasons that it's useful is that if you, if you mentally or physiologically tense up, then your stretching is definitely a bit less productive. So your breathing can help you stay nice and relaxed. All right, ease that off there. Next up, we're going to come down onto our mats, stretching off the, the chest. So, lie face down, and we're going to start by taking our right hand, right arm, out our right angle to your body. I want you to think about trying to get your right shoulder flat into the ground, and your right ear as if you're listening to the floor. Left is coming up to here, and I'm just going to slowly rotate around until I feel that stretch. On the front of the shoulder and the chest on my right side. As we did before, we're going to work with our breath. So we're breathing in, relaxing off, and breathing out, and just pushing into a wee bit deeper. Breathing in, and breathing out. Last one, breathe in. And breathe out, we will be. Nice. All right, we're gonna change it. So left arm's coming down, left arm's at a right angle. Uh, right hand comes in, and we're just gonna turn. I'm just gonna let this back leg go across. Again, it's like I'm trying to get this uh, left shoulder flat to the ground, my left ear, so I'm listening to the floor. I'm gonna breathe in. Breathe out, and as I'm breathing, I'm going to push away and rotate up. Breathe in, relax, and breathe out, and push away, rotate in. If that left shoulder, if your shoulder's coming up a bit, then that's fine, but we don't want to be like all the way up here. Try and keep that relatively flat. Breathe in, last time, breathe out. Okay, cool. Next up, we're gonna stretch the lats a little bit. We're gonna stretch the upper back. So we're gonna start by taking your hands and placing them out in front of you. Walk your knees back until your arms and your body are extended out. I'm then gonna think about taking my hips and pushing them away. So press your palms, push my hips to the wall behind me, and as if I'm trying to flatten my chest down to the floor. Keep your head up for now, and if 
feel really stretching out your hands, you start to feel that stretch and relax. Push back. Breathe in. And just ease out of that stretch a little bit. Out. Push away. Breathe in. If you need to intensify the stretch a wee bit, you can just walk your knees back a wee bit further. Again, you down and push back. One more. Walk it out. Breathe in. You have to be a wee bit careful if you've got hypermobility or if you have a shoulder injury at this point that you don't hyperextend, you don't overextend for your shoulders. So make sure that you're not dropping too low towards the floor. Focus instead of the length from your fingertips through to your, your tailbone. Okay, cool. So we've done a little bit of traps, we've done a little bit of chest, we've done a little bit of lats. Now we're going to work a wee bit on just general mobility. And a little bit of core work. So we're going to start here, we're going to take the hands out, show them our shoulder bit apart, bring your feet to the other end of the mat and bring them together. We're going to lift up into a downward dog, slightly bend your knees and think about getting your tailbone up towards the ceiling, press through your hands. And from there it's quite nice if you wanted to cycle your cycle your legs, just alternating, extending one leg out. Breathe in this position. We're just going to spend about 20 or 30 seconds here. It's, it, a downward dog is a very nice, just general opener for your hips and for your shoulders. So I'm going to stay here. Alright. From there, just come down onto your knees, from forward onto the, the mat. We're going to bring the hands in to your shoulders. Flatten your feet off behind you. Take a small breath in. And as you breathe out, we're going to press through the palms. We're going to use the muscles of the lower back and start to lift up. Now, for some of you, here, if the elbows down, might be a good stretch. Otherwise, take the hands in and just continue to press up. That isn't necessarily a better stretch because anyone can press through their hands and get to here. If you're feeling pain in your lower back, you're not in a good place. <laughs> you don't want to be feeling any pinching kind of pain there. So if that's the case, this might be a better stretch. You might actually feel that more in your core. I want to think about keeping my glutes a bit engaged as well, so squeeze my glutes. Whenever you are, we're going to hold it for just another 10 seconds or so. Try to get breathing nice and relaxed, under control. Nice. Okay, right, moving down to the legs. How many is our time? Jeez. So we'll go we'll go with the left leg first. So we're gonna stick our left leg out in front, walk that forward a little bit. Um, back knee is down, and I'm going into this like really extended kind of lunge position here. I've got one hand on either side of my leg. It doesn't really matter if you can only get them on the inside here. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a breath in. As I breathe out, I'm going to straighten this leg off. So pulling toes back hard as I can, contracting the quads here, and also I'm trying to extend up through the back. So I'm going to lift up. You can come off the floor, you might want to hold on to something here. Depends on how flexible you are. So just really, really squeeze here. Push your hips forward and through. Shoulders back. You'll get a good stretch in your, your hamstrings and your calves if you're doing that right. And then just ease it off. And we'll do a couple with a breath. Breathe in. And breathe out. And breathe in. And breathe out. Again, think about contracting your quad. And relax. Alright, swap that over. Stepping up with your right, left knee behind you. Extend that out the front. Again, yeah, no, I'm hands on, doesn't matter, hands on the outside, hands on the inside. Take a breath in. Breathe out. Extend that leg. Up. Think about pushing your, your hips through, pulling your toes back, squeezing your quad. Breathe in. Relax. 
Go as far forward as you can go, but still keeping your back straight. Pause it here. And then you're going to breathe in and relax. Let's go forward this time and breathe out. Posture up. Push your chest forward. Breathe in, relax. Breathe out. Push up. Do one more. Almost for good luck, breathe in. Breathe out. Alright, nice. Okay, so we're done. Um, I hope you found that stretch routine useful. If you did, like and subscribe. As always, guys, comment if there's any particular routines you'd like to see. You know, really open to suggestions on this channel. Um, and yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Done.